How I actually think about this is I think the opportunity here is the space is two, two and a half trillion today. I think it's going to a hundred trillion in line with other asset classes. So that's a that's the biggest macro trade of all time and the largest generation of wealth in all human history. That's the trade. How you want to slice and dice that? Yeah, how you want to slice and dice that's up to you. What risk tolerance you have, but that's the trade. Um, you know, when I first did the first piece of work on Bitcoin back in 2013, I said it was worth a million bucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, and I don't think that's yeah, wildly yeah, yeah. wrong. You know, if Bitcoin's at a million, yeah, the space is somewhere close to my target of 100 trillion, or maybe it's 50 trillion. The cryptocurrency market is projected to experience an exponential rise, potentially increasing by 50 times its current size, transforming from a $2 trillion market to an extraordinary $100 trillion by 2030. That's the latest bold projection from Raul Pal, renowned macroeconomic analyst and CEO of Real Vision Finance. In a recent interview, Pal expressed his belief in the inevitable long-term growth of crypto, suggesting that external factors, such as the outcome of the next election or whether Gary Gensler remains SEC chairman, will not impact this trajectory. He argues that cryptocurrency has already reached escape velocity and is now unstoppable. Make sure to watch to the end of this video, where Pal shares his insights into the liquidity cycle and the much-anticipated banana zone. Also, if you enjoy listening to crypto-related content, Please show your support by liking and subscribing to this channel by following the link in my bio. And get access to my free daily crypto updates and expert predictions direct to your inbox. Each newsletter contains market intelligence, on-chain data and latest updates from experts in the crypto space. All of this is available completely free of charge. Signing up only takes a moment and you can always change your mind later on. Now back over to Raul Pal. I don't want to give price predictions because the internet is an ugly place and you just get beaten over the head by it. So there's yeah. there's no point. The whole space goes up a lot. I think over a hundred. Solana does maybe ten x from here, and Bitcoin does five x or four x from here. That kind of stuff. Typical bull market. And then there'll be the main thing that I'm starting to think through is there is always another layer one race, which is early stage when you don't have proven network effects. That bet is actually a good bet. It's not one you go all in on, but that bet was the Solana bet of last cycle, the ETH bet of the previous yeah. cycle. So I'm starting to think through that because I mean, I don't trade, don't do anything. I just sit with my portfolio. So I'm thinking through that because I reckon there's a really good trade to come. Um, and it's a lot of fun, but it comes very quickly and it usually gets overvalued and then goes down 95% afterwards. We've been in this space for so long <laughs> and we've had... China ban it three times, India ban it twice, the US be pro it against, the Europeans hate it, and it's made no fucking difference. It no difference. Gensler. Gensler could become the president and it wouldn't matter. It's finished. Like, it's decentralized. It's all over the world. If the US wants to, you know, get in the way of innovation for four years, somewhere else will pick it up. Look, do you remember in 2021 when we all said, oh, my goodness, if China, you know, bans Bitcoin and they kick out the miners because all the Bitcoin's being mined in China, right, right. it's over for the space. It's over. It's over. The thing went down for like a few days. Yeah. yeah. I mean, every time Europe comes out and they're going to put right. It, it's all nonsense. It's noise. It's all noise. You, it's I, noise. I cannot. I can't believe how many times. It's just powered through all of the human stupidity out yeah. there. And Gensler is the greatest representative of that human stupidity. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, seriously. So good luck. You Become know, treasury guy. Good luck to you. You know, I, I just, I just look like, all the hand wringing that goes on. I think it's part of the, you know, the emotion. Yeah, the bull, a bull market's job is to throw, is to try and throw you off, right? I mean, this is a clear, clean macro case for a secular bull market that continues. So your job is just not to get thrown off by the FUD. I mean, people find every reason not to do something when when all you have to do is buy it and then not do anything. It's it's like this is the digitization of money and value. Sure. It's really straightforward. I don't know. That anyone is going to stop that. It's just like the internet. 
It's the same thing. That was for ideas and information. People were afraid. Oh, dissemination of ideas. The whole world will come to an end. The world didn't end. NASDAQ went up, you know, 50x, <laughs> right? It's the same thing. So Gensler and whatever, it's, it's not going to matter. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for news and expert predictions direct to your inbox.